Hey, this is Chip with Web Video Chefs. I have a question from Steve I want to answer. So he's a newbie to FCPX, and he has a graphic overlaid on top of one of his clips. It's a small vert vertical rectangle clip, so you can see the video clip behind it. What I want is when it transitions to the graphic, he's got the graphic to display for 10 seconds. He wants a portion of a clip behind it to be all black, so you're just seeing the graphic with a black background and not the video. How do you do that? All right, Steve. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to show you here is myself here. I'm doing a talking head uh, video. Now what I want to show you is that I have the subscribe button, but I want to see the black behind it when I see subscribe. I don't want to see myself. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to first, I'm going to use the tool called the position tool. It's the P key, but you can go here, hit the position tool. Before you hit the position tool, you want to make sure the clip is, is split. So let's just say I split the clip here. All right, I use the blade tool. Now I'm going to go back up here, the P key. And when I hit the position tool, watch what happens. And I click and I drag. All right. And I hit subscribe. Now I'm going to hit the A key. But one thing is that when I'm talking, and then that comes up with the black. But then I don't, I, I don't hear myself still. Remember, I still want to hear myself and have timing so what i'm going to do once i use a position tool all right so right there i'm going to double click here and i'm going to hit expand audio components all right so what i'm going to do expand audio components put this down like this and then we'll pick it right back up where it goes now watch what i do Okay, and you see it is all on time. Now, I of course, I'm going to have to adjust this a little bit more and make sure it doesn't overlap and all that good stuff. But you see, this is called right here a, a J cut, what I did, because it's going down and going that way, a J cut. So, and um, it's more advanced cut, but that is what I did to get this black and then to have my audio still play. And then it comes back to me. All right. Now, if I did it better, I would, I would go here and put this here like this. Have it in for snapping. All right. So and then I would do this to make sure that I have the audio, the continuity of the audio. So that's how you do a position tool. And then I did a J cut because, like I said, you see this down and see this longer. And then the opposite of the J is an L cut. Same kind of thing in Final Cut Pro 10. Hopefully this helped you, Steve. Any other questions, you can just hit us up on webvideochefs.com. Take care.